600. So the 600 gram, um, so the manufacturer of Mill City, uh, in their stated uh, capacity range, they actually said that um, 600 was the lower limit for this. Um, the probe for the, uh, I guess the probe in the original uh, that comes with the, with the roaster, um, I can show you. This is the probe that comes um, delivered with the roaster. So this just basically sticks right in there. So I can imagine that if you do have this probe, maybe it's just barely in the beam mass. Um, so perhaps that's why that recommendation is low. I actually have no idea. Perhaps someone from Mill City can comment on this, but um, clearly we've gone lower batches with the different probe, where the, the tip of the probe, is, as in this case, is right right there. Um, but just so you know, this is the, the probe that comes with it, and uh, 0.6 kilograms, 600 grams, is, is the recommended lower limit for the capacity range for this roaster. And you can see right now we're at about that point where you know, the beans are basically right there, so your probe is kind of like right in there. Um, if you did have a straight probe just like this, this is pretty thick. I think this is a four millimeter probe, maybe a five millimeter probe. Um, anyways, that's that. So I guess, uh, you know, a lot of people um, ask about what what is what should my drum speed be? Um, I, I, I'm not going to answer this. I really don't know. This is, like I said before in an earlier video, this is part of the reason why I'm doing these experiments, just so I can sort of document this for myself. Um, you know, these, you know, taking these videos and doing these experiments are a bit time consuming. So the whole reason why I'm doing this for myself, so you know, I can go back and look and see what happened with, you know, X amount of grams uh, at, you know, Y drum speed. So um, I'd definitely be interested in knowing what other people think about this. You know, what, you know, what drum speed do you think would be ideal for 200 gram batch, 250, 300, 400, 600, 800 kilograms, so on and so forth. Um, I don't know if it's one drum speed takes all or you know based on what we're seeing here and we're looking at the beam movement you know what is the optimal drum speed for each size batch so um, I'm hoping that this will help uh, shed some light on it um, and I'm hoping folks will uh, comment on this and uh, give me your thoughts <laughs>